What is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slackers, bringing you our next matchup in the Ultimate Smash Bros. DLC Fighter Tournament thingy here. So, um, we got matchup number four today. So, uh, the matchup, uh, as you could probably tell by the title of the video, or the thumbnail, is Cuphead against Black Shadow. But if you're new, uh, just a few rules I need you to follow if you want to participate, because you're more than welcome to participate. So, uh, rule number one, you only get one vote, and the way to vote is down in the comments by simply typing the name of one of the two characters. So either type Cuphead or Black Shadow, and or uh, if you really want, you can vote both. That is a possibility, but you just type the name of whatever your vote is in the comments. And then uh, I guess that's pretty much the only rules for you guys. But it's also a double elimination tournament, meaning character has to lose twice. So if you lose, you drop to the loser bracket. If you lose from there, you're done. Simple there. Uh, voting for each matchup only stays open for one week. That way the tournament keeps on rolling smoothly. And um, if there's ever a tie in the voting, fingers crossed, knock on wood, that uh, there's never any, you know, there's not a tie. But if there is, I will flip a coin on camera. You guys will see that. Break the tie that way. Easiest way to do it. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, the main rules. And that's how this whole tournament goes. So, um, yeah, no, no results because, again, first week, uh, we just started this on Monday. So that means this upcoming Monday, uh, we will have our results and we'll get to see uh, who starts advancing in the tournament. So, like I said, the aforementioned Cuphead is taking on Black Shadow today in matchup number four. So let's talk about this, right? <clears throat> so the cool thing about this, actually, Black Shadow is the first character in the tournament uh, well, that we're talking about, that uh, I'm putting as an Echo Fighter. Because uh, when I was asking you guys what kind of tournament you guys want, uh, we've we seen the results. Uh, Echo Fight or not Echo Fighter, um, Assist Trophy Promotion was pretty up there. But Echo Fighter Tournament got a pretty decent number of votes as well. So I figured, hey, let's throw in some Echo Fighters. You never know with Nintendo. Sure, they've said, you know, Fighter uh, Pass 1 is a thing. But, you know, they could always, it's a, it's a possibility, they could always throw us a curveball and be like, hey, by the way, free downloadable character, it might be an Echo Fighter, but there you go, have some fun, you know, thank you for all the support from the game. Nintendo could do something like that, so that's why I got quite a few Echo Fighters, or uh, potential Echo Fighters in this tournament. So first up, Black Shadow, right? Um, uh, first of all, I think F-Zero as a franchise is severely underrepped. Sure, it, the game, the, the franchise hasn't had a brand new entry into the series in quite some time, but uh, when we're talking about Smash Bros and potentially a new F-Zero character, Black Shadow is one of the names that gets brought up a lot. And by the way, this is uh, this was one of those really good fake, fake, it is fake, uh, screenshots that was, you know, before Smash Ultimate released. And um, I think it is... Not, cool little uh, rendition. Uh, I still don't know who made this, but it's cool rendition of what uh, Black Shadow could potentially look like. I like the really pointy teeth. I mean, he looks pretty badass, honestly, in my opinion. So, um, but uh, so why 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 would Black Shadow be a great Echo Fighter? Well, he's pretty much kind of got like the same sort of build and stuff as Ganondorf, and there's always been that um, the, the fans have always wanted to see Ganondorf get his own move set. So, uh, he's starting to kind of go that way. We finally got uh, Sword incorporated into his moveset, which is awesome. But I still think you can really change up Ganondorf and make him a bit way better instead of just like a Falcondorf clone. But, so, what, what would you do uh, with uh, the old Falcondorf? Well, a lot of people say you just throw it onto Black Shadow. He'd be a great Echo Fighter of Captain Falcon. Uh, the moveset, it's already pre-made, duh. I mean, Captain Falcon. You just basically give him Ganondorf's old moveset. Uh, he'd still be kind of like a slower character. He would still hit really hard. Uh, a lot of it is great. Um, but again, F-Zero, not the biggest franchise right now for Nintendo, even though fans have been clamoring, myself included, for a brand new entry into the series. Uh, we were saying that about Metroid as well, and we ended up getting, what, um, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Not a lot of people wanted that, but it was still an all right game. Uh, then we got um, Metroid uh, Samus Returns, and now we got Metroid Prime 4 in development, what recently had to kind of scrap everything and start over, but we are getting a new Metroid, so maybe if we keep kind of, you know, voicing our opinions, we could get a new F-Zero game, and then maybe that could lead to a brand new, you know, F-Zero character in Smash. Now, Samurai Girl is a an assist trophy, so the franchise is represented, uh, of course, by Captain Falcon as a playable character. Goro's an assist trophy, and I believe it has, what, two or three stages? So it's got, what, 
one one mute city, big blue, and uh, Port Town Aero Drive. So it's got three stages. Got quite a bit of awesome music. I know you can end up turning a, another track from F Zero into another stage. Um, depending, I guess, depends on what uh, track you might use. But they could do some cool stuff with that. Uh, so if uh, Black Shadow were to be a part of the fighter pass, I guess, like, you know, the whole, the whole bundle, you get the character, the stage and then music. So, um, yeah, I think they, they could still do some good stuff with him. He's like the, one of the best candidates, honestly, for, uh, an echo fighter. If that were to be a thing for DLC, uh, people have been saying this, you know, since like what brawl, I believe, uh, get black shadow in there. He's great. And, he kind of gives another villain to the roster, which uh, there's always room for more villains. Which so uh, he kind of has got a lot of boxes checked. Maybe not, maybe not popularity. Maybe not, probably not relevancy. But you get you can make a move set. Uh, hardcore fans for Smash would know who this is. And plus, if uh, uh, whether he came out in the Fighter Pass or if maybe Nintendo was like, hey, free Echo Fighter for download right now, go get him. Uh, a lot of people would like him and just get more eyes on the franchise. So. Uh, Black Shadow definitely has quite a bit of, you know, he's got some good stuff going for him. I think he does, but uh, we'll end up seeing if we do get any Echo Fighters, potentially. But uh, let's move on to his opponent, Cuphead. So, of course, Cuphead's been making, you know, the rounds over the past week or so with um, the Nindies from last week saying that, hey, Cuphead is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, let me make sure I get this right. Um, Microsoft doesn't own Cuphead. They own the publishing rights, right? I'm pretty sure that's correct. So it's a different studio that owns Cuphead, the character, but Microsoft kind of controls, you know, where and how Cuphead goes. So Microsoft somewhat, you know, they're pretty much responsible for getting uh, Cuphead onto the Switch, which is pretty awesome. I always thought this would make a great game for the Switch on the go. So if you don't know Cuphead, you know, what his game is about, real quick, a little rundown. It's like a side-scrolling uh, kind of shooter sort of game and it's re it's known for it's pretty intense and somewhat difficult boss battles because that's kind of what the whole game is honestly just a bunch of boss battles it seems very fun I've never played it myself but I've seen quite a few uh, rage compilations on YouTube we'll say of people you know throwing controllers and getting super upset about uh, the game but uh, he's a really cool character uh, I th you can definitely make a move set he's got like all sorts of He's got a few, like, uh, an airplane that he kind of drives around, or f drives around, flies around in, so you could kind of use that into, like, maybe a recovery move. Uh, he goes around shooting, like, uh, finger bullets, so not real bullets. You can get around the realistic part of that. Uh, he can also charge it up, so you got that for maybe, maybe like, a side B or maybe a side smash or something. And eh, maybe not side smash, but side B, kind of charge it up and fires off... Um, I think it's, is it multiple projectiles? You could probably do that some, you know, like three different finger bullets going in different directions or something like that. Um, you could get, well, typical punches and kicks, honestly. But there's a lot of cool things you could do with Cuphead. And a lot of people have been obviously talking about him since uh, the Nindies and they're like, yo, Cuphead's actually coming to the Switch. Uh, that means he's probably in Smash. Well, hold up, hold up. That doesn't mean he's going to be in Smash. I think um, if, again, this is kind of... Some people are going to view this as it's a Microsoft character, right? Not really. They don't, again, they don't own the character, but they got they got the publishing rights for him. So, I don't know. Cuphead is kind of, he's in a weird situation. I think he would be great. Honestly, I really feel like Cuphead would be a nice addition to the roster. I do. But, uh, I just think if, because Cuphead, I mean, is Cuphead really like an indie? Is that was that kind of how people view him, honestly? Um I don't know. Uh, speaking of sales, I mean, his game sold very well on uh, the Xbox One. That sold over, I know it was over a million. Maybe it was over, like, three million? I don't know. It sold over a million copies for sure, though. I know that for a fact. So, the game is popular. People know what it is. And, you know, coming to the Switch, just bring it with you and get to play on the go is awesome. Um, a lot of people talking about him. But, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess... I mean, between these two, like Black Shadow and Cuphead, don't get me wrong. I like both these characters, and it's probably my vote. I'm gonna go Black Shadow actually on this one. I think he'd make he'd be really a cool addition. I I I guess I'm I'm actually a pretty big F Zero fan. One of my first games I played was F Zero on the Super Nintendo. Absolutely loved it, by the way. And um, if it ever comes out on the Nintendo Switch, you know, for their 
uh, on the eShop for download or maybe Nintendo Online if they ever bring Super Nintendo games over. And that's one of them that's definitely worth a play, in my opinion. But I don't know, Cuphead is still a pretty good contender. Uh, he was in my last tournament, and he, I don't remember how he did, but I know he got a win, maybe two wins, so uh, there's definitely somewhat of a, I guess you could say there is a demand kind of for him, but not as highly as quite a bit of other characters. Uh, between the two, who do I think would be more likely? I think Cuphead is actually more likely to be in Smash Bros., Yes, even over Nintendo first party character. I just don't think Nintendo has any intentions to do with anything with F Zero, which is kind of sad because fans want a new game. But I don't know. Maybe we get one eventually. Maybe we get one in the near future. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, this one's pretty much over. So you got uh, two options, three options. You can either vote Black Shadow, you could vote Cuphead, or you could vote for both. So let me know who you got down in the comments. Again, one vote per person. Remember that. Uh, but uh, that is pretty much it for this one. Mm, yeah, not much more to say. So, uh, yeah, I guess quick sneak peek for tomorrow's matchup. A character that I actually... Oh, wow, I actually really like both these characters. Uh, but King Wart, he's from Mario and a Zelda game, actually. I'll dive into that tomorrow and kind of give my opinions about, like, how he's, su he's such a really unique awesome character and nintendo needs to use this character more but i'll talk about that tomorrow so king wart is facing ryu hayabusa who again another character i'm really fond of and i think would make a great addition to the roster one of the, like the, the last remaining like game icon you know gaming icon from the 19 what well, from the nintendo super nintendo era that's what i was trying to say so uh that's for tomorrow uh this one is over so yeah let me know who you guys got down in the comments anyway this is over did i just say that like three times anyway um <laughs> yes it is over officially now so uh i hope you guys enjoyed and i uh, look forward to the voting peace out everybody